how's it going guys we're headed to spa going off to the belgium grand prix uh now qualifying was an adventure um it was a full wet weather qualifying session and we struggled the whole time i was way off so we ended up qualifying p19 because of that uh the power unit where is it where's my power unit um the power the the control electronics was, was getting up there so because we already qualified 19th i was like you know what just give me the grid penalty, save it, you know, we don't have to take it for another race. Um, I was even thinking about just literally just make a whole new set of uh, upgrades, get like a 70 place grid penalty, just use this race since we already qualified in the back. But there's no, there's no need for that yet because the turbocharger is fine, um, energy store is fine, MGUH, MGUK, you know, the ICE, they're all, you know, on the third one, all doing just, you know, they're brand new. So no reason to do that, but we will take the grid penalty for the control electronics um, and get a third part in there so that is okay uh, we head off to the race where no rain is in the schedule um, there it is you can see just cloudy conditions the whole way uh, we should be a lot better in the dry conditions I don't know what happened in the wet weather conditions it's just I was way too slow uh, in the in the downpour sections which uh, maybe it's because I, I couldn't change my setup um, I, I don't really know what happened there but it is what it is. Uh, R&D wise, you can see we have two minor upgrades in the works coming in right next to each other. 31st of August, 5th of September, or 1st of September. Um, R&D tree for now, we have 2,900 points. I'm going to hold off until uh, probably after this race. There are a few things we could do, you know, and stay above that 2,000 point limit that I want to stay above. Um, but for now, I mean, I'm looking at the chassis area a little bit. We've, we've fallen behind a little bit here. Arrow, we are second behind Mercedes. Power, we're second behind Mercedes. Chassis, we're fifth behind Ferrari, Renault, and Racing Point along with Mercedes. So, um, I think I'm gonna focus around here a little bit. But uh, I want I want this upgrade up here to uh, to finalize, which is the cable assembly. And then I need to get the facility up to spec three because we have to work a little bit um, on our chassis department. So I'm going to start investing that money into the facility. The problem is you always have to save a, a certain amount of money for the driver. Um, so we're going to need, what, 10 million, 11, 12 million for the drivers we want, like a Ricardo. If we if keep Albon, uh, Verstappen, Leclerc, Vettel, um, guys like that. So... It's going to be something that we're going to have to, to worry about. Um, so I'm not going to do any R&D for now. Uh, we're just going to head off to the race. Uh, it is going to be 22 laps, like I said. And uh, we're starting from the back. So if we get up to uh, 13th by the end of uh, the straight, I'll be happy. Welcome along then to the Belgian Grand Prix, the race that gave us the maiden victory for the Jordan team in 1998. And in the same team, the phenomenal debut of a young Michael Schumacher. There's always something special around one of the many corners of this fan favorite circuit. Spa-Francorchamps then, a historic 19 corner circuit with a lap distance of 4.35 miles. There's over 100 meters of elevation change here and with long stretches of the lap spent flat out, a good top speed will be vital for success. Alongside me to discuss all the action today is Anthony Davidson. Thanks for joining us, Ant. And tell me, you were down in the pit lane earlier. How do you think the track conditions are today? Well, the surface looks clean enough, but I'm a little bit worried about the track temperature. It's pretty cool out there, which could give some teams difficulties when it comes to keeping their tyres in the right operating window. The cars out there that work their tyres hard and really put a lot of energy through them, they'll be the ones that are better off. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Ocon, Leclerc, Daniel Ricciardo and Albon, Sainz, Gasly, Stroll and Sergio Perez. Verstappen, they've taken a grid penalty. Vettel, Roman Grosjean and De Vries. Norris, Schumacher, Daniel Kvyat and Kevin Magnussen, Giovinazzi, Russell, Latifi and Old Timer. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? As you can see, a lot of grid penalties everywhere. <laughs> this is going to be uh, pretty funny. Um, do, 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 do. Let's switch this around. Uh, let's go medium first. And then soft at the end, and uh, boom. 
and that is what we will do. Okay, so um, let's see if we could get uh, a decent result here. All right, we don't have anyone to our right, so we know we have to get to the inside here before turn one, and that's what we're gonna do. Let's get a thing up in a ridge. Oh, nice and easy, nice and easy. Oh god, oh god. No damage. Yeah, that was definitely my fault. Not gonna lie. All right, just get me nice and easy. Oh yee. I had to slam on the brakes. Oh my goodness. There was also almost a massive incident there. Okay, and now we're side by side. There goes Grosjean. Oh my goodness. Alright, nice and easy. Don't lose don't lose anything. No damage, no damage. We lost a lot of time though because whatever the heck happened. I don't know who it was between. But there was there were some front wings or something or debris flying off, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oh my goodness, I have no heat in these tires. Caveat. Sorry. You okay. Let's let's That was a little bit hectic of a start. Let's let's relax here. Alright, a crazy lap one is complete. We're behind Grosjean. I need my overtake. There we go. We don't have DRS yet, but I think I can make a move. Heading up a rouge. Let's see. Going to Rich, use all our overtake. Which is probably not a good idea. I should probably save some. I don't know. Oh, they're going side by side up there, though. Oi, oi! I almost lost it. <laughs> oh my lord, that's not a good feeling. Okay, Th that was happening to me in qualifying during the rain, by the way. That was that was one of the big problems. It was the lack of downforce, especially in the rain. And it looks like I have a little bit of a uh, lack of downforce even in the dry. But um, Grosjean gets around Stroll. We stay behind. Signs is making a. Oh no, that's Norris. I keep thinking it's Signs for some reason. That's Norris making a move to the inside. And we keep that position. We're struggling a little bit more than I thought we would, to be honest, at this track. I thought it would be a lot better, but I'm struggling. Now we can definitely get around Stroll here. Put in a rich, a lot of overtake. To the inside we go. And that is a pass complete. Grosjean and Vettel up next. We have to go catch that pack that we lost due to that first lap incident in front of us. They're pulling away, so we just gotta stay in DRS range at all times, and DRS is about to get enabled this lap. You'll see the notification. DRS there it is. This lap. You can use it when within one second of the Thank you. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's see if we can get Grosjean. Gonna use everything we got here. That, that Alphatari has a... From just previous races, too, they have really good straight line speed. So, uh, we will wait. Oh, boy. That's a terrible entry. That's going to hurt us here. Oh, man. I'm really going to have to wait another lap. Yep, we're going to have to wait another lap. Battery charging. I just can't catch Grosjean. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with downforce here. I, this is not normal. And uh, there goes Norris trying to pass us. Should be able to hold that off. I'm just really, really struggling in the, uh, in the downforce sections of the track. Yeah, I don't have the straight line speed to really compensate. If, if I'm struggling there, I should have more straight line speed, but it's, that's not how it's working right now. I mean, it's it's just a massive struggle all the way around. And uh, Vettel is pulled out to four seconds, so we really need to get around Grosjean, like, immediately. This is becoming critical stage now. He's, he's holding us up big time. There we go. That's the closest I can get. Come on. Give me traction. I have no overtake though, so that's We're a little bit of a problem. There we go, now I can. Come on. I'm trailing Albon by 7.6 seconds. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Thank you. Don't make me feel any worse. Alright, we have to get Grosjean on this lap. Come on. Let's just use all the overtake we got. We have, we're gonna have DRS. We're in Rich. Up through a Rouge. Alright, this should be it. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright, around the outside. Thank God. Okay. Let's get to work. Because qualifying was more important than I thought, because I just, I cannot catch for Staff or Vettel. I am really struggling in Sector 2, and uh, maybe I should have a more downforce in the setup, I'm not really sure. I guess, I guess I should have. I guess it's a setup issue, because the car should be fine through these sections of the track. It's just, I, I am not fine. Not fine whatsoever, Lord have mercy, that was close. Okay. 
Also, like, my overtake, I can't even use all of it. I have so much overtake to use, but I, I guess I'm hitting the limit every lap of how much uh, I can use from the ERS system. So, I mean, I just, I, I can't, I can't even use that down uh, this part of the track either, so. And that's just keeping the, uh, the energy store just filled all the time. I don't want to keep 85% in every single lap. I'm trying to use as much as I can, but there's only so much I can use, I guess. Here go the first round of stops. Alexander is coming in for his stop. Huh. Alexander's gonna have to carry us this race because this is uh this is gonna not this isn't looking good. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to even get in the points right now. Uh that is who's in front of me? Uh that is the Mercedes. That is in front. Renault came out behind Norris. So come on Lando, hold him up. Nope, there goes Botas, he's right in front of us. I'm gonna try to get around him. Actually, no. Do I want to get around him? I'm trying to think, because I can actually just use this right here. Oh, sorry. Actually, no, I'm going to get around him. Thank you, Botas, for the slipstream. I appreciate it. Give me that outside, please. And I'll take that. All right, let's hold him up. Why did he go to the hard tire? That's interesting. I thought no one would go on that strategy, but for some reason he is. Nah, nah, you're staying back there. I'm holding up the whole field. Oh, wow, I helped Ocon actually get around both us. Well, that's interesting. Um, okay, so I'm trying to actually save a little bit over to just so I could use it coming out of the, the final chicane. Like, I don't want to not have any to use. I think I will. Thank God. All right. You. There we go. Now I use some. All right, perfect. There we go. All right, Esteban Ocon's probably going to get around us here. I actually kind of want him to, because I need the DRS. There you go, my friend. Alright, now just tug me along for a little bit, please. Thank you. Well, if we're going to want to finish in the points, we're going to have to have a heck of a final eight laps here on the soft tire, because I don't really see how we're going to do it. I have been able to hold off Botas. I mean, the, the Renault was getting close to the, the speed of the Mercedes, I'll tell you that. There goes Valtteri. I will let him go. Go ahead, my friend. You, use your DRS, there you go. Alright. No, we can't. Alright, books, books. Books, books, books. I'm actually going to save some fuel down uh, a rouge this time by because I need to. So let's go on a lean. Let's use some overtake and uh, try to hold up a player and Ricardo. Up through a rouge, there we go. Okay, so. Oh, man. Uh, let, let's just see how fast we are on the softs. I mean, that's, that's going to be the key here. I just got the notification Daniel Ricardo is out of the race. I'm going to go up on my uh, wing a little bit. Books, books. Books, books, books. Nice and easy. You. All right, go, 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 go. And you. There we go. Okay, so, um, yeah, we're going to make a little slight adjustment on the front wing. Um, Ricardo is out of the race. He had some sort of terminal issue. We're going to fall in behind Norris somewhere. Um, we've lost it. We're not getting in the points. I just don't think it's possible. It's going to be very, very difficult. Go, go, go. Uh, there we go. I mean, we're even behind Kvyat. That was our last oh, boy. No more scheduled pit stops. Yeah, we're behind Kvyat. All right. Let's see what we could do. Now, this is worst case scenario coming out of the pits to be behind, right behind a slower car. That's not what I wanted. I needed to be maybe a little bit more aggressive heading into the pits because... We were just shy of being able to get around him, and look, now now I'm stuck for a whole nother. It's just a wasted lap. That's what this is. It's a wasted lap. Oh, this has been a frustrating race. Come on, Kvyat. Come on. Let's get around him now. All right, come on, overtake. If I can't get around Kvyat down a rouge, I, I will literally cry. Uh, this should be pretty easy, though. Right? I mean, I'm hoping. Come on. Come on. Aiming. There we go. Okay. Now, can we cash Lando Norris? That's going to be the question mark. I don't know if I can. And plus, that's not even the points that we're aiming for. We need we need Verstappen, who's even further ahead. All right, come on, soft tires. Do your magic. I'm not gaming, gaining the time I thought I would. I'm still two and a half seconds behind Norris. I probably gained a tenth or two. I mean, it's... It's not happening. It, it, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what happened this year. I, I really don't know. I was not expecting to be this, this poor 
Um, the start of the race hurt, not being able to get further up, but... I mean, I am just really bad through the middle sector right now. And, uh, so... Got to put some work into that. I don't know if that's a chassis thing, or if it's... It can't be an arrow thing. It must be a chassis. I have to get the chassis going. Um... I'm just really struggling there. So... We'll work on it. 2.9 seconds by Norris. I tell you, it's all in the middle sector. Um... There's nothing I can do, so... Uh, let's just finish this race out. We'll head straight to the R&D and, and uh, focus on the facilities in that area because the chassis has to get better. We are on the final lap and Kvyat has caught me. So that just shows you how uh, how bad we've been this race. It's been uh, very disappointing. This is going to be a non-points finish. I don't know where Albon is. He's somewhere in the points. I don't know exactly where. Um, let's just see, uh, this doesn't matter actually, so it doesn't matter if Kvyat passes us or not, just a pride thing, let's battle side by side, oi, you, oh, oi, alright, we got him, and a lean, save some fuel, he'll probably get me on the final, uh, straight, heading in the final chicane, this has been a very disappointing race, I am, uh, quite surprised by it, I'm not gonna lie, but I think Lewis Hamilton's gonna win it, from what I know, he was in the lead. And I think Lewis has been doing very well this season, recently. Um, or maybe my mind has gone blank. Fastest lap of the race on the final lap, and Lewis Hamilton wins at Spa. Uh, we'll see where everyone else lines up. I think it should be Ocon in second. Um, meanwhile, we're still fighting Kipiat over here. Should be Ocon in second, and then I'm guessing uh, Botas in third. And then after that, I don't know, because obviously Ricardo's out of the race. I don't really know who's running near that spot of fourth. Uh, hopefully Albon's up there. I mean, we don't know, but we'll see in a second. All right. That's a terrible result. We move on. No, I got driver of the day. <laughs> That's not... I don't deserve that, but okay. I'll take that. That is a fifth place for Alexander Albon. Um, so that's a, I think that's the second time this season that we've struggled and he has done very, very well. So sixth on the grid to fifth. I am very, very happy with that. Only five seconds behind Botas. Uh, that is a fantastic result for the team. So thank you, Alexander Albon, for saving our butts. Hamilton, Ocon, Leclerc, Botas, Albon, Sainz, Vettel, uh, Perez and then the two Red Bulls and then Norris, Kvyat, uh, Grosjean, Shumi, Stroll, Russell, Giovinazzi, Magnus, and Latifi, and then there's uh, Daniel Ricciardo. Let's go look at the standings. Uh, Albon moves up to 13th. We remain in 7th. Uh, Verstappen's closing in a tiny, tiny bit. Um, and we stay in 4th in the Constructors. You gotta keep an eye on Red Bull. But Albon did a fantastic job today. He uh, extended the gap uh, for us in the Constructor standings. So I am very, very happy with that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very happy. <laughs> so I, I didn't do well. But that's the, that's the thing about this career. is the, the team has to do well. And overall, 10 points on the weekend for where we are. I am happy with that and uh let's move on all right so we just don't have enough money right now to do anything in the chassis department so we're just gonna have to wait um but let's go to the r d we have 3397 resource points in there and uh we're still waiting on that cable assembly let's go ahead with the tire blankets uh we will uh develop that put that in the car um, now let's just advance to make sure, let's go, da 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 da, da. sponsor event. Um, let's go advance time, alright, stop advancing, because cable assembly has, uh, succeeded, and now let's put in, now, I know, don't go underneath the 2000, right, but we'll we'll get right back up to 2000 um after practice sessions so what is this uh da, da, da. It, i'll be right in after oh that, that's perfect yeah we have to do it today then to get it in before singapore so um please 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 do not let this fail it is a lightweight uh wheel rim so let's go ahead and put that in that took up a lot of resource points but again we will get around 900 back uh, after the practice sessions at Italy, so we'll be right back over to the 2000 area where uh, we need to be. I don't think there will be rule regulations. We're at race 15 of the season, and I have heard nothing of uh, any sort, not in my messages, um, of a rule regulation uh, coming in. 
So I don't think that is coming. Uh, let's advance off to the Italian Grand Prix, and uh, I will end the uh, video there. So um, it's going to be tough, really, to upgrade the car more than what we already have. We're going to have to upgrade the facilities, I mean, to, to get, you know, these specific areas. Uh, facility, facility Spec 3 is required there. If you look at the downforce side or the aero side, you know, Facility Spec 3 is going to be required over there. The engine units, Facility Spec 3 is going to be required over there. So um, that's, that is, I mean, to get though a combined all three of these, to, the Spec 3 would cost around, I don't know, 50 million? Like, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, we're, we're looking at, we're kind of looking at 5 million there. Uh, 15 million is uh, it's it's looking a little bit tough so um we'll see how that all goes guys it's it was a disappointing episode today but we head off to italy this one should be better i mean right we have a lot of straight line speed hopefully this one's better uh, and then we, and then the race after that will be very 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 good because that is where we got our first career win which was Singapore, and we have a faster car this time around. We did get lucky last season in Singapore with the qualifying because we were able to take advantage of the track uh, when it dried out. If we didn't, if that didn't happen, we would have qualified anywhere near the front of the grid to be able to win the race. So we're going to have to qualify better and fairly this time around at Singapore if we want to do that. But that's going to be after Italy, the Autodromo Nazionale Manza. We're going to go there. If you guys like the video, make sure to like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Comment down below. Hope you're enjoying the career mode, and I'll see you guys later. Take care of yourselves, and peace out.